So Mexico joining Portugal in the semi-finals next week. We were saying before the game that Russia perhaps lacked an identity in this tournament and they really wanted to impose themselves to give the fans something to look forward to, particularly for the World Cup next summer. They're knocked out, but what did you make of their performance, bearing in mind you were kind of simul viewing? It, I think it was very similar to how it has been throughout the whole tournament. Um, there's areas of good play for me. I th you know, th it's not disastrous, but they're just lacking a real clear identity to me about how they want to play, what they want to achieve, and, and they're just falling short. And, and for the host nation, I think you need to be in, in a better shape than that. Hmm. And gained frustration but for themselves, you know, uh, getting red cards and, 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 and making crazy tackles and stuff. Uh, I think uh, the pressure of the, of, the, of, the, of the tournament, them being the host and needing to show that they have made steps, you know, and are making steps to be a force for next year has not really come out. Mm. Well, they did take the lead, and the fans for a moment there would have thought, this is all going perfectly. We're going to be in the semi-finals of the Confederations Cup on home soil, extend our, our stay in this tournament. It was um, a little bit of luck in the build-up, or great setup, <laughs> as Jimmy likes to call it. <laughs> great setup. I like to say great setup. Eventually, he got there. With, with great skill, here great skill, and passing it, and what a, I like the finish. Composed, knowing what he's doing, seeing the angle, you know, where the ball has to go, and executing it. Mm, talking about a bit of fortune, we thought that was quite a huge yeah, of slice course. of it no, of in the equaliser yeah. for Orojo. Where was he trying to put this ball, Joe? <laughs> well, I, I'd like to think he was trying to score, <laughs> but, you know, and, and if he was, compliments because it's a fantastic you can only score in that place really <coughs> i'm telling you now he's not trying to score <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he's trying to head it back across goal but as we said beforehand i think that the goalkeeper who's, who's had a pretty dismal afternoon yeah, yeah. when you see the next goal as well i i don't quite know two things one can you come for that long ball because it's in the air a long time and yeah. he heads it in the six yard box and secondly he almost dives into his own goal Oh, what about this one, goalkeeping-wise? If you're not going to get to the ball, you may as well stick your studs into the chest of the onrushing striker, yeah? Well, what a brave, what a brave boy, by the way, uh, the, 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 the striker who scores. But what is the centre-half doing? Centre-half has, has to block him, yeah. and the goalkeeper, come on, head the ball. If you're going to come, head the ball. You know, take it at its highest point so that the, 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 the striker can't get it, but... <sighs> He didn't fancy that, it, though, did he? That is your area. No, you know? <laughs> no. I, I think it's a great point to say that the centre-half, his job's not done. Just because the goalkeeper's coming yeah. for it, he plays an important role there. And as Jimmy said, just to run across his line, just to slightly get your body in his way to stop him making that contact would be a, a, an important role for him there. What about tomorrow? Chile, Australia, Germany, Cameroon, the favourites clearly, uh, Germany and Chile. Can you see any upsets in those games? Can't see any upsets. Um, uh, I've seen... Uh, Cameroon, I've seen uh, 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 Australia. Uh, I don't see them scoring uh, against those teams. It's just going to be who is going to be number one and number two of, of Germany and, and Chile for me. Yeah, whoever finishes second in that group will play Portugal next week. Mm. Do there be any thoughts about that at all, or they just simply want to get through? I, I think looking at the two that have gone through, you, you'd probably say that Portugal's a, a tougher game, but I just think the four teams that are through, they're some good teams, and, and it's very evenly balanced between them. So whoever plays each other, I think they're going to be really uh, hard-fought matches. It's been fun. Thank you, both of you. See you again soon. Enjoy the semis and the final, because there is more live Confederations Cup action tomorrow. Mark Pugach will be joined by Lee Dixon and Mark Schwarzer for the conclusion of Group B with the choice of two matches. Germany Cameroon is on ITV, or you can watch Chile versus Australia on ITV4, coverage starting at 3.30. And we'll also bring you live action from both semi-finals. Portugal will play on Wednesday in Kazan, while Mexico will play in Sochi on Thursday. Coverage for both games starts at 6.30 on ITV. While Portugal and Mexico march on to the semis, Russia will be watching on from home soil and the All-Whites will be heading home to watch the All-Blacks. Goodbye from us.